Hello angels, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I make a doll wig. Here are the materials I'll be using. Some acrylic paint, and here is the silicone that you can get from any hardware store. Here I'm using 100% silicone and clear. I have some felting needles, some tools, like popsicle sticks, and today I'll be using nylon hair from dollyhair.com. First, what I do is stretch a very thin, fine fabric over an embroidery hoop, depending on how big your wig is or if you need a lot of it. Take your silicone and pour some into a mixing cup with your paint. Here I'm using white paint for a white skin doll. Once it's well mixed, take a piece of aluminum foil and press it to the back of the fabric. This will prevent the silicone from seeping all the way through and making a mess. Using your popsicle stick, spread the silicone evenly over the fabric. You can peel off the aluminum foil from the back and move it to another spot to make your silicone area much larger. Once the silicone is fully cured and dry, you can draw on your wig pattern. Be sure to leave some space between for seam allowance. On to the fun part. Take your felting needle and hair fiber, measuring out how long you need the hair to fall. It's a good idea to have an extra centimeter or two of the hair length. Lay the ends of the hair onto your pattern. When using the felting needle, stab it through the fabric with a twisting motion so that the little barbs on the felting needle catch the hairs and push it through the fabric. What this does is that it roots the hairs into the fabric and silicone. I don't know if you can see it, but the hair is pushed right through. There's one short end on one side and on the other side with a longer length. To secure the hairs, make sure that you have enough rooted hair to take the fabric off the hoop. Take a candle and light it. What we are going to do is, oh, whoops. Come on, light, light, light. You light the candle, trim the short side of the hair down, and carefully melt the hairs with the open flame. The melted plastic should column together naturally. If it doesn't, then you can help it along. Please be careful if you're doing this. Melt the plastic, it will burn. What you should have are the nylon hair securely rooted to the fabric and silicone base. Continue rooting with a felting needle. To fill in the hair or make it thicker, place a very thin strand of hair like so and root until you are satisfied with the amount. 
Remember to drag the needle closer to the rooted hair to make the hair thick. Place, drag, root, pull. Place, drag, root, pull. Place, drag, root, pull. To help with the rooting process, I placed the fabric over a hollow so that the needle could push through without hitting the table. When you finish the section of hair over your pattern, it should look like this. Here's the back side. With the hairs melted, it's secure enough to comb and to style. There will be some fallout, but not too much. I wanted to add the bags to the finished wig. I covered the doll's head with a layer of plastic wrap to protect it. To create a more natural hairline, I first glued several layers of nail on hair using Evine's Julek glue. When I have enough hair for the bangs, I mix up some epoxy scalp and carefully squished a small amount onto the hairline so that when it's cured, I'll have a hard distinct hairline at the forehead. When all the pattern pieces are fully rooted, cut out and sew together to make a head cap. Once the head cap is finished, you may notice that it has gotten slightly smaller during the process. I solved this problem by making the pattern pieces slightly bigger than it needs to be. Place the head cap onto the doll. You can finish the wig by trimming off the excess and sewing elastic to the back hem of the wig. Secure the bangs to the front underside of the wig with glue or more epoxy. This is another wig that I'm working on. I started with the bangs, gluing them onto the fabric head cap like this. I also made a piece where the hair is going to part. Using the same technique of rooting hair onto silicone coated fabric. Here the silicone is colored to match the skin tone of the doll. Using a second fabric head cap that I made, I made a mark where I wanted to place it and sewn the part onto it. Attach both head caps together 
either by needle and thread or glue. I used both to make sure that the wig was fully secure. Sewing along the inside of the hairline and gluing both fabric head caps together. I'm using synthetic mohair from dollmore.com for this wig. Using a glue of your choice, make wefts. Make enough wefts to finish your wig. Or you can glue the wig fiber directly onto the head cap. This is the wig all wefted. As you can see, the hairline came out quite nice and thick. This is the top of the wig. The part makes the wig much more natural this way. With this part done, you can cut and style it to however you'd like. With this one, I did a short combed back style using heated hair tools and extra hold hair products. This was my first time doing a tutorial with a voiceover. I'm sorry about the video quality. I'm using a point and click camera that is over 7 years old. Please let me know in the comment section on what I need to improve on. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!